what is going on my everything it is your girl janiqua a and i am back with another reading for you guys if no one told you guys today i love you and i know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do so let's tap in and let's see what, what you got going on archangel michael and a leg while please protect me protect my mind my body and my spirit clear all my chakras as we tap in to the most important messages surrounding my everything's energy at this moment what you should be expecting, looking forward to. A king of pentacles. All right. A knight of wands. Um, This could be somebody you're sleeping with. Um, This could be somebody that, that was in and out your life. All right. This could even be a father. All right. But this person is weighed down about something. All right. This person has a lot of stress. And, um, you know, things on a plate right now. But it's giving somebody, ooh. This is somebody that was in and out your life. You know, the Knight of Wands, like they can't, they can't keep still. They, they always on a run. All right. Somebody definitely is motivated by money. So they can be a hustler. You know, the King of, King of Pentacles is earth energy. All right, this could also be an earth sign. All right, let's see. This could also be somebody coming towards you. With this knight of wands. Fast. Oh, well, yeah, you don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> you don't want nothing to do with this person. All right, even if this is a job, this could be a place you worked at and left because I'm hearing harassment. <laughs> All right, this is somebody that thinks that they could come in and out your life whenever they please. Okay, you, you, it's looking like you might have even blocked this person. There's definitely. Um, little to none communication alright hmm. let's see what's going on y'all what's going on with you and the king of pentacles this hustler You know, a manipulating man, worst fear is a woman with brains. A narcissist, lover, worst enemy is a woman that finally wakes up, all right, and use their mind and their intuition and follow their heart. Okay. Look success so it's looking like you are successful too it's looking like you reached a moment in your career where you are being seen as very successful somebody that accomplishes a lot this is a victory here all right you cutting this person out your life done brung in some sort of victory or success all right, maybe this person was getting in the way of your success. All right, I don't know how. All right, again, you could have been sleeping with this person. Knight of Wands. All right. But um, cutting this person out your life done um, put you in a better position in your career, in your life, how you feel about yourself. All right, and this is a victory here. All right. So you didn't make a bad decision, six of wands. All right, you're coming out looking like somebody that is very successful. All right, if you have social media, this is a big social media card. All right, um, you might be getting a lot of friend requests. Um, your social status definitely is changing. Your hard work is showing. All right, um, you're looking very victorious right now. Hmm. 
All right, Spirit, what is going on with this King of Pentacles? And why is he in this reading? Ready? What is going on with this King of Pentacles? This could have been somebody that provided for you. You could have been in a relationship with. For some of you guys, it could be a child father. For others of you guys, it could be a stack daddy. All right, but this is a male that is looking like you used to sleep with. But, or a father that was just in and out your life. Ooh, the nine of wands. All right, so they are not <laughs> in a very comfortable position right now. Whoever this king of pentacles in your life is, all right, they are nervous. Even if they acting cool right now and they king of pentacles energy, all right, in the back of their mind, they're very nervous. All right, they could be walking on eggshells egg shells right now. Um... They also could be very guarded, all right? Um, but you, I'm getting like you killed somebody's ego or you're killing someone's ego by rejecting them and not talking to them, not allowing them back in. But this is a very, they're very nervous right now. Nine of Wands. They want to fence about something, baby. Right, I'm here when they know that they ass is grass. <laughs> Who is this King of Pentacles, y'all? They in a nine of wands energy on a on a fence about something. Very worried, damn, about talking to you. All right, um, you left them. You left them on red or something, or you left them hanging, and that's that's not normal for the King of Pentacles. All right, you might have left them on red with that hangman or left them hanging. You might have said, you might have, they may have did something. And instead of you going off, you might have said, oh, I'm going to call you back and never caught them back. Or you might, they might have sent you a text and you probably already made up your mind on what route you wanted to take in the relationship. And you probably just left them on red and never, heard, and they never heard from you again. All right, so now they on the fence like... Oh, sis standing on business. <laughs> Just like my reading earlier, standing on business barefoot, all right? This man is realizing you standing on business, all right? If you got social media just in public, this is a popular call. You're popular. So this man could be seeing you watching your social media. This man um, could be hearing just a lot of good things about you like, oh, you know, Thing is doing really good. You know, I seen them or I'm hearing this good stuff about them. All right. So this is a very nervous energy. Like, uh-uh. Why this person is not? Like, why can't I get through to this person? Spirit, get him on this Knight of Wands energy. Wait, first of all, what got this person in a Knight? In a Nine of Wands, not the Knight of Wands. We gonna relax with that real quick. What got this person feeling very, very on the fence about my everything's energy or or um, how you know they they seeing you moving different? You giving them a very cold shoulder and focusing on your career. The the truth. All right, you cut them off. All right, they was lying about something. I don't know what the lie was, but you cut them off because you found out the truth about something. And when you cut them, when you found out the truth, you cut them off like you left them hanging. I'm picking up on the energy where you didn't really validate. That's like you ghost them on no contact. <laughs> For real. It's like you didn't really validate um, your decision to cut them off. You found out some truth. That was that they was already nervous about. All right. Whatever that came out, whatever truth this is, whatever communication this is, it is a truth. And it's true, cut them off. But the way you did it was like no validation. After whatever came out, that truth 
what was all you need to make a change. You know, truth requires change. And a lot of people don't be ready for the truth. You were. <laughs> you were. Because it wasn't stopping your show. Maybe it was delaying. Maybe interacting with this person and not following your, your intuition was delaying something. All right, but you got too much in front of you to be wor to be worried about um, this person behind you and whatever they've done that made you cut them off. All right, they was already nervous. Okay, so spirit, give me more. Yeah, the truth, the truth, the uh, and and it's looking like they are very they are very nervous about approaching you. You know, they, they know that they know the truth. They know that there's no amount of money. It's nothing. No amount of history could change. Because it's looking like, again, you know, you, you are doing something successful in your life. So it's not like you're sitting at home crying. <laughs> okay? It's looking like your time is spent very well. All right? So, wow, y'all. Y'all y'all confident. Y'all not dealing with this King of Pentacles. Spirit, um, give me Knight of Wands energy. What is this Knight of Wands? This fast movement. Yeah, all over the place, playing both sides to the fence. All right, this person was given to you and given to somebody else. This person was very flip floppy. All right, they were very in and out your life. This person also was a hustler. They could have just been out, you know, um, if this was a cheating situation, whatever that they do for, well, for work surrounds them with probably, uh, you know, if the lifestyle that they live probably surrounds them with a lot of negativity, probably a lot of girls, you know, hustling, you know, it attracts a certain crowd. Um, but the two of pentacles, I see that they trying to get their money right too. Like they trying to get back to something. They may have, have went through a setback. Because the king of pentacles going down to the two of pentacles. It's, it's, it's a little rocky right now with their stability and their security. And their title as the king of pentacles. Spirit, give me more to a swords, please, and thank you. Oh, I hate that when it happens. All right, well, you don't want to live with this person. You don't want to be in a partnership with this person, y'all. All right, you might even not let this person know where you live at. All right, or you, if you moved or... You don't want this person to come over to your house for a while. Like, you don't want this person... Spirit, give me more on this four, I mean, this two of swords, please, and thank you. The ace of cups. You don't want they love. I'm hearing it's fake love or something. Well, they probably really do love you, but there was some sort of truth came out. But the ace of swords and the ace of cups, this do seem like true love, though. <laughs> I ain't gonna front, y'all. But you don't want they love right now. Whatever that they offering you, whatever cup of love that this is, you might it might even be liquor. <laughs> you like uh uh, I don't want to go off on no date. I don't want to. You it's looking like somebody did something to you to the point where you're not even you're not even willing to waste tears over this person no more. Like you're not you're not willing to give them your heart. You're not willing to accept nothing that they offering. They offering you love. They offering you a new beginning. For some of you guys, you might not even see this coming. Yeah, the, this love come with too much baggage. So yeah, you don't want somebody's love. You don't want this person. <laughs> Spirit, give me one of six of cups. I mean, the six of, um, damn, I said six of cups. This might, yeah, this might be an ex trying to come back. You'll give me more than six of wands, please, and thank you. It's like, it's looking like you, you know what true love is. You know what love is. The eight, the page of pentacles. All right, so you are in the beginning stages of a brand new career or success. 
all right? It's looking like you are starting something new and whatever this new thing that you're starting, not only is it bringing an income, but it's allowing you to get seen in a public eye. It is allowing your exposure to heighten right now in um, a good way. All right, this could be a new job. This could be a, a new industry. This could be a new lane that you're getting into, that you study it. All right, this could be a new practice, but whatever it is, is putting you in a spotlight. It's it's um, attracting a lot of eyes on you when it comes to, you know, your fame and your fortune. You looking very victorious right here in whatever you are in the beginner stages of doing. So, Spirit, what did this King of Pentacles want from my everything? <laughs> because uh, that's the question. What is this King of Pentacles coming out and a reading for? What do they want? What do they want um, from my everything? The Six of Cups. Didn't I just say the Six of Cups? They want things back how they used to be. They want, thing, they want the old thing back. I'm telling you, this person is coming back. They might come back to talk. They might you know, come rushing in. All right, something happened. Yeah, they are missing you. They feel very disappointed in their actions. What did this King of Pentacles do? You know, you got history with this person. The Six of Cups is like you got history with somebody. All right, and it also can signify the last time you seek somebody. So remember the last time you seek somebody, what the fuck happened? Because that's what he's holding on to. That's what he wants back. Something happened after that time to make you be like this because it was all love before. Spirit, what the fuck did he do? <laughs> I be like, what? Spirit, what did this King of Pentacles, Pentacles do to have my everything so closed off? This is somebody you know from the past. You got history with this person. Oh, wow. Love. He might have uh, cheated. He might got another lover. Or you found out the truth about somebody he was sleeping with because they are naked. All right, Spirit, what is this lover's card? And also, with this Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, and this Lover's Card, this person do love you. <laughs> they love the fuck out of you. Spirit, what is this Lover's? What is this Lover's Card about? High Priestess. A secret. They might have even been trying to keep you a secret. Secret lovers. That's who we are. <laughs> Y'all. This, I don't know if this per, all right. Y'all. It's you coming out as the high priestess. All right. You're coming out as somebody that is very spiritual. All right. Also, somebody that is very trusting in their own intuition. I feel like you did a lot of things to go against your intuition when it came to the King of Pentacles. All right. So whatever that happened, even if he was trying to keep you a secret or something a secret. All right. You found out you the high priestess. For some of you guys, you gave this chance, this person a chance to be honest. Because the high priestess went through shit. She has help from a lot of things. And she understands on a deeper level. You know what I'm saying? But she's big on honesty and the truth. You know, don't, don't, don't take away her option on making a choice because of your selfish acts. All right, so... I'm feeling like you you found out something. It's either this person was trying to hide you or keep you a secret for some reason. Or he was he you found out he was sleeping with somebody. 
secretly. Hmm. Spirit, give me more of this Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. You don't want it. They want a, they want a fresh start. They want a new beginning. All right, this person do love you. Like you got the like you got history with this person. <laughs> All right, the Six of Cups is history. Y'all coming out as the Two of Cups, Ace of Cups. All right, so this is like love at first sight. Whenever you met this person, it was love at first sight. And then y'all grew. You know, Six of Cups to the love is called, that's like growth. So this person know who you are. They know what you like. They know what you dislike. They know what you are gonna tolerate and they know what you want. Mm -hmm. So right now, somebody on the fence because they know they fucked up about something because they know you. And they know who you are and they know who you know you are not. They know, they know, and they know that you're spiritual or they, they you have some sort of authority and intuition where you know the truth. You can sense it. It comes naturally to you. You know, you can sense some bullshit. You probably called it out or inquired, all right? But you got a lot of history with this person in love. Like you was dealing with this person for a while. Like, it, you met this person, you fell in love, and then y'all went, and y'all grew, and the lover's card, Six of Cups, that's a long time. All right, but you don't want it. <laughs> you do not want this new start. Like, yeah, you you do not want it. You, you feel like it was too many failed tries. For a lot of you guys, you know, the High Priestess is a big emotion card. You know, it's somebody that understands the art of detachment now after healing and, you know, just a lot with the high priestess. She done did the work, her shadow work. She done healed certain parts of herself that um, she needed to release, especially when it comes to her feelings being hurt, trauma, you know, stuff like that. You know, um, I feel like you have a lot of history with this person. It's nothing but real love out here. A lot of cups. And emotions, hidden emotions. All right. I, I also feel like this King of Pentacles simply did not know how to tell you how much they love you. Okay? Literally. And they might have been in their ego. All right. Um, I'm hearing they wanted their cake and eat it too. Um, but I feel like you emotionally checked out. I feel like this person has let you down so many times and disappointed you so many times that whatever that this person did or whatever truth that you brought to the light because the high priest is going to know. You brought the truth to the light. You brought the truth to him. Like you didn't wait for him to tell you. You already knew. All right. So I think that that one last time, that, that truth you know, sat with you after all this time of healing. Like, you're not in the beginning stages of your healing. You done did a lot of work and passed a lot of tests when it comes to relationships, romantic relationships, as a high priestess. A lot of you guys have grown from third-party energy. A lot of you guys are not accepting being hidden. There's nothing hidden about you. All right? This man, I feel like, hurt you or disap. I don't even feel like it's hurting you. I don't sense that energy. I'm getting just a disappointment, like, again, after, you know, trying to work it out or you coming to me trying to work it out, you know, after putting my guard down and just doing something stupid again. It don't even got to be nothing stupid. It could have just been something that just crossed a boundary and you just emotionally checked out. This is eight motherfucking times. You could have been dealing with this person for eight years. Or off and on for eight years because of the stupidity or whatever this person was doing. So, y'all, my everything, you just simply don't give a fuck no more. I don't even think there's no fucks to give right now. I am i don't think that you hurt. The hot priestess, no. She has developed spiritually in her emotions. She has learned what she don't have no control over. She's not easily hurt. You know, everything that the hot priestess was scared of has happened to her before. So there was certain things she was just forced to release and heal from and see, you know, see it, see it for what it was. 
She also learned emotional stability. Like she doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't need to react. You know, her silence speaks volumes. All right, a lot of people, you know, her silence is her weapon. Her truth is her weapon. A lot of people uh, sees the high priestess as unpredictable. And once you fuck over a high priestess, yes, silence. All right, scares a motherfucker. All right, she has mass at that. So I feel like you just emotionally checked out and said, you know what? Ah, uh, you know, I gave you the rope. You hung yourself. All right, I don't even give a fuck. Kind of probably disappointed, but not on the like beating yourself up. You like, uh, I'm not trying this again. And that's why this person trying to come with you, come to you with love, come to you with romance, and you simply like, no, you're not gonna trick me no more. You know, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, I mean, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. You're not doing that shit again. All right, you simply emotionally checked out. Like, I'm good over somewhere else. Like, you know, you are in success. It's looking like you in your prime right now. It's looking like you're very, you know, about your paper or about a study. Uh, it's, you're very passionate about it. Um, you're learning so much. You So, it's not stopping the show. And I think that's the difference. Y'all not allowing people to, you know, you, you're letting people, you know, like, um, if people don't call you back. You're putting your phone down and going to sleep. You know, if people don't invite you out, you're doing something yourself and watching TV or something like that. If people are, you know, you're letting them. You're letting them because the more you try to change that is the more you're, you're resisting the direction that God wants you on. All right. So it's like you let that person, you let that person hang himself and you just emotionally checked out. I feel like he feels hurt that you are not going about a situation how you probably go about it before how you usually go about it before you know the high priestess the ace of cups the the ace of swords this is somebody you probably was very very hurt before you probably showed you probably cried a lot um when this person did stuff you probably always wanted to talk and get clarity and communicate and this time you simply said uh uh i'm not doing all that he's not worth all that like i'm i'm good over here where i'm at you know what I'm saying? So I think that your silence and how you're going about this is just really surprising this king um, of pinnacles. And he's realizing that he's not that much important in your life right now like he thinks he is. All right. And it's fucking him up. You know, you never know what you got until it's gone. And I feel like this is the case of that. All right. Because, again, I don't see you stress. I don't see you stressing out. I just see you cutting this person off and you standing on business. You don't want nothing he's offering you right now. And before, you probably was easily manipulated. You probably was not even probably just loved him, you know? So we all stupid for love sometimes. Not you. <laughs> not you. All right? Not you. What the fuck is this? Yeah, look. Trying to come back and sweet talk you. All right? Not you. You like, uh-uh. Leah, so, they could, so you could be feeling like this. Like, yeah. He wants you. This man is in love with you, but I don't know what the fuck he did. Maybe he was playing two sides of the story or doing something. Slept sleep with somebody or just, I don't know. It has something to do with something fucked up. But you already know this manipulator. You know he's a sweet talker. You know what he's trying to do. So you like, uh-uh. I ain't being trapped in my feelings no more. I'm not being all up in my feelings no more. Not thinking, damn, I shouldn't have never, you know, accepted this. You're not doing that no more, y'all. I'm hearing a womanizer. All right, he's he's a finesse. All right, it's all good. This probably this man probably spent big bucks on you. You know what I'm saying? It's never nothing when it comes to money. Oh, baby. But when the feelings start, it's like uh, he want. It's like um a very obsessive energy, all right, a very manipulating energy because it's looking like he loves you. But as soon as you catch him doing something, first of all, why are you even doing something? Why am I even catching you doing something? Why my spirit is telling me to put on my spidey senses with you? You know, if you really love me, you're starting to realize the finesse with him. You starting to realize like that shit don't. It don't move you. Yeah, you could probably have a family with this person. All right? This could even probably be your child's father. That been coming out a lot, too. All right? Yeah, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, too much women. Queen of Wands. 
Death card, exactly. Too much woman. Now, I'm not saying he don't love you. I'm not saying that. I see a lot of love. I actually see that he is obsessed with you. I see that he is so obsessed with you that every time you try to leave him, he always come back with some fucking magic. He, he, it's like pulling fucking a rabbit out the hat. He do something that astounds you or he might take you on trips or I don't know, something. He just does something to like will you back in because it's like so kind hearted. <laughs> All right. He's like the family. I want to be a family, you know? And you just looking like, uh-huh. I know who you got behind you. I know who you be sleeping with. Or I know I know what type of woman you, 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 you like. And he might even have an addiction. Remember, if he a hustler, queen of wands women, you know, it's just what surrounds a hustler. I'm sorry. That's why you got to, you got, that's your choice if you want to do play that role and be with somebody like that because it's just what comes if the, if a king of pentacles is not committed it's just women are gonna talk they way talk them out right out the boxes okay but every time you walk away all right he would say family this and family that all right and it's looking like you're big on family values this time oh he's he he's he's scared he's on a fence it's not working and i'm getting you literally left him hanging. Like, I'm, that's, it's the way, like, the high priestess is silent, bitch. That's why he's scared. I feel like you never went ghost, like, you ghosted him. That's what you did. You ghosted him this time. And your ghosting and no contact didn't need no validation this time. You was not playing with whoever this is. You didn't want no new start. You knew already. You already know this man like the back of your hand is what I'm picking up. All right, you ghosted this person. <laughs> For real. Why would you, why would you even give somebody um, the chance to gaslight you again? It's like you got enough receipts. All right, you got enough you came into terms with reality, all right, and seeing shit for what it is that this man can't gaslight you no more with, with, with a situation. You can't. And if you allow it, that's just you being stupid. I'm seeing you woke up and smelled the fucking coffee. You ghosted this person. No contact. You left this person hanging or on red and never spoke to them again. And I don't think you never will because you are in success right now. This is a new start in your success. You know what I'm saying? This is a very... Uh, successful time and a time of celebration for you. So the last thing you need is a headache or a man that's unhealed that is stuck on temptation and lust and a lifestyle. Okay. Wow. All right. So um, anything else? Because I think this is clear. All right. This man is coming back and this is somebody you ghosted or will. All right. Literally no contact. Like silent. I'm talking about your silence, all right, is adding so much pressure to the situation because I feel like you never did this, all right? You got history with this person. It's looking like before you used to cry, you used to want to talk like I explained before this time, you was like, all right, I'm going to show you how much I'm not playing. And, and you're showing. This person might even come up to you this weekend. Yeah, they coming. With a knife of pentacle ass. You hear me? They coming. They rushing in, y'all. All right, what this night is was, they rushing in to have a conversation. And I feel like you already gonna know that this is a repetitive pattern that you're not gonna do. You're gonna reject it. That's how I strongly feel, y'all. All right, Le leave this person on red. I feel like this person keep trying to message you. You know, the night of um, Pentacles is like a message. They're you know, a messenger. All right, they could be messaging you. They could be calling you. Honestly, they not getting through. I see that. All right. This is just a lot of attempts. Many, many attempts this weekend by this King of Pentacles. Oh, blocked. <laughs> they can't get through to you. They can't get through to you. It's like you went ghost on them. And I don't think that this is normal for you. You know, with that Eight of Cups energy, I feel like you emotionally checked out. I feel like you give two fucks. I feel like he, they have wasted all of the fucks. They have used all of the fucks. You had. <laughs> That's what I honestly feel. They are reaching out to you. Um, y'all, they are, they are messaging you right now, probably. And they can't get through. Block. This is you're physically blocked. Yeah, you want some bigger and better things. 
You going to people that you don't have to do this with. Six of Swords. All right, this is a gateway. Um, this weekend, um, I feel like you're going to be in celebration of a success here. There's a dream coming true. There's a victorious moment that's happening for you. And I feel like that is what you're focusing on. For real. I feel like this person might not even be a thought in your mind. I don't know why they're just coming out. All right. Um, Spirit, anything else for my everything? So what's the closing out messages um, for my everything? Because this is very clear. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, two moon cards. It's two moon cards that came out. Y'all. Look, two moon cards came out when I tell you you're ghosting right now. It's ghosting. Your silence right now. All right. It's unmatched. All right. It's like you matching a silence. For some of you guys, they are used to you crying and, and starting and 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 bringing um, a com or sparking up a conversation or letting up. Let me tell you, if this person did not reach out to you or this person is normal, like you, they, they are in a feelings there, y'all. They are in a feelings of how you're not there. <gasps> There's a lot, there was a lot of illusions. You matching their energy. If they ever left you on red before, they do not like how that feel. If they ever went ghost on you before, oh my gosh, they don't like how that feel. I feel like you were the first woman that like did this. Like cut them off, went silent, ghost them. All right. For some of you guys, you probably cut them off after you slept with them. And they all they thinking about is that good ass sex. But stand on, keep standing on business because this week you celebrate and you coming out as a victor. You're not, vi you're not a victim in this relationship. You're not a victim. Of this. this is not a victim outcome. <laughs> For real. It's looking like this person is playing a victim role now. <laughs> All right. They are in their feelings. Wow. Something is about to be, um, yeah, look. The shoe is on the other foot. It don't feel so good. All right, this king of pentacles is in his feelings. This time around, your silence is not feeling too good to him, y'all. Look, the nine of pentacles in reverse. Damn. He might not even be able. He went from the king of pentacles to the nine of pentacles in reverse. And for a lot of you guys, you know, he's used to you being dependent. Like, you're self-sufficient. He might want you to be, he might have wanted you to be in a lot of pentacles in reverse. Like, needing him, you know, maybe, you know, he was su supporting you. You know, you weren't self-sufficient at one point. So, you probably relied on him. Child, if that didn't change, the wheel has changed, the shoe was on the other foot. All right, the will has turned in your favor, baby. This man is in pain. <laughs> this man is in pain. You hear me? Literally, the shoe is on the other foot. You, your silence, your ghosting, like you leaving him on red and hanging, does not feel good to him. Oh my gosh, you're no longer investing into him. You're no longer doing that. Wow, this is it's over for him. So if if he's watching, I don't know. All right, it is over. Heavy on the earth sign. It's a lot of earth energy out here. This could be a king of pentacles, um, Gemini. I mean, um, or it could be a Gemini too. I just said Gemini. Um, heavy on a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, y'all. Heavy. <laughs> heavy. All right, um, I love you guys, and I really hope that helped because he's the shoe is on the other foot. Literally, you left that man on red, and you said, "I'm I'm checking out. I'm head out. I already see what's going on." All right, that truth, and I'm proud of you. That truth was all you needed. 
You ain't go back and forth. You ain't say why this and why that. You didn't, you didn't even give this person, um, you know, that feeling of even having you cry. With that eight of cups, you emotionally checked out. You did it too much times. You already since seen, seen, since that repetitive pattern. All right. So I love you guys. And I think that that was his loss.